She didn't come in with an idea. She came in with a package, with a product, with the whole thing worked out. This was, she didn't leave it in our laps. She wasn't just a person with a dream, with a flair, with great taste. You know, that's pretty monotonous. That's pretty general. Everybody's got something. She came in with the whole thing digested, fixed, arranged. I went to see her. She said, great, 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 and boom. All of a sudden, I found myself with the suitcase outside her office. And I said to her assistant, what do I do now? She was it in New York society. Trendy. Uh, she was at every party, every concert, every open. She was right there. All I was was a woman who wanted a certain type of clothes and a certain type of dresses for myself. And I went around, and more and more, I could understand what people wanted. And because people were changing, you know, it was after the 60s. Von Fürstenberg's success was based on more than a trendy little dress. It was a counter-revolution. In a country addicted to pants, she okay. gave women back their legs. I mean, when people talk about you, they say she is the most important woman in fashion since Coco Chanel. incredibly talented, hardworking, brilliant businesswoman who's also an extraordinary designer. And within Diane, there's always these amazing different characters and, and different personalities all melding into this force of nature.